walking distance to the convention center actually is a little far it take like about uh, 30 minutes so this morning I have two meetings so I have to be fast I take a taxi it cost me about 17 dollars uh, sorry 17 euros so when I come back I don't want to take a taxi I try to walk a little bit and yes it take around 30 minutes Ceritanya sebenarnya mau irit ya, jalan dari convention center ke hotel, kalau naik taksi sekitar 10 menit, kena 200 ribu lebih sakit hati. Jadi jalan kaki aja, tapi malah dapat pemandangan yang bagus banget ya. Ada dome-nya, di tempatan yang sebelahnya lagi kalau kita ngelewatin dome, ternyata akhirnya dilewatin juga nih. Jatanya cuma ngeliat doang, pemandangannya bagus, di belakang aku, tuh. keren ya, wah nggak rugi deh. But a walking distance, you can see so many view is so beautiful, the flowers and also uh, walking over to the bridges, it looks so beautiful. Normally if I walk in the rainless bridges, uh, I look over there, I wonder what is that bridge and then now I am here. From the bridge you can look over to the Alaska, the old town and also to the dome as well and you can see. It's so beautiful. This one apartment looks very fancy, overlooking to the bay. Stunning. For time visiting Germany, especially Cologne, this fourth largest city is one of the oldest countries. Feature an inspiring old world medieval Gothic architecture, stunning cathedral, and beautiful view of the Rhine River. Also, there are plenty of great museum and attraction with admission fees like the Ludwig Museum and the Cologne Tube. There are fantastic things to do in Cologne, but my favorite is always the Dome Cathedral, which I'm already highlighted a review on my previous video. You can check it out later. Today, actually, I like to bring you to see the dome from the other side. Most people will see the dome from the main station, which you can see the gorgeous Gothic architecture, which is so amazing. But beside that, you can also go up to the tower and also walk to the behind of the cathedral. It's very beautiful. You can walk from the Rain River and also from the Ludwig Museum. This Gothic masterpiece situated in the heart of Cologne it is the tallest twin spire church and the fourth tallest cathedral in the world at 157 meters or 515 feet tall. I have been climbing over the 500 steps to a viewing platform about 98 meters over the city, providing an unparalleled view over the rain last four years. Walking part from the Cone Messe or Cone Convention Center to the Dome today, I'm going to bring you to the Rain River, the divining geographic uh, feature of the area. Enjoying the spectacular view of the cathedral and the old town of the Cologne and cross the Rhine River to the other side of the river. Uh, see some people gather on the basket or boat. I enjoy this walking so much because of the view. It's so beautiful. Look at the flowers. My God, it always gives me more energy to walk around here. The Grand Bridge of Hohenzollern's Bridge provides so many spectacular views and the amazing padlock that stands as a symbol of eternal love of many thousands of couples. I've been here so many times but never put the padlock.
if you like to admire a view of Cologne's top attraction from the river, you can take one hour's Cologne sightseeing by cruise on the Rhine River. The cruise will take you in the panoramic view of the beautiful river banks and park area. The view provides the informative audio commentary in English and will tell you the histories of the old historic sightseeing. And if that is not enough, you can upgrade to two hours sightseeing cruise to enjoy Cologne Riverfront side till up at night. Here is the timetable and the ticket price. It's very easy. Just walk down from the Dome Cathedrals and go to the bridges. You can find this ticket thing here and you can buy direct here. And the last of my video, I like to recommend some hotel over here, like they have a Windham Hotel and Ibis Hotel near to the main station. Which uh, brings a more easier for your trip to many, many visitors attraction. And for ASEAN, I like to recommend you to this gourmet Asia restaurant. It's very tasty and priceless. The, lo the location is inside the main station, the Kolon Hobanhof. di sini nih kalau di Kolon Hobanho makanannya enak terus murah porsinya gede banget sampai bingung mau makannya gimana jadi akhirnya kita pesan satu pesan nasinya dua bagi bertiga jadi murah deh cuman 10 euro Thank you for watching. Hopefully you like my video. And don't forget to subscribe and share. Bye-bye.